Hello and good day, I'm Prophet Thomas, or better known as the Woke Prophet. So today I want to talk about witchcraft. So I've been getting a lot of questions. People have been asking me, like, how do you know if someone is putting witchcraft on you? So um, I made a video about this, but it's been a while ago, so it's probably very far down in my video. So I wanted to just kind of do like an updated video so you would know some signs to, to help you you know, so that way you would know if someone is uh, placing witchcraft on you. So witchcraft is nothing but negative energy. That's all it is. Someone, this is a person that is projecting negative energy your way and it's causing and causing these issues. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about or one of the first signs um, when you're dreaming, if you're dreaming and you're constantly seeing witches in a dream, if you're seeing warlocks in a dream, this could be indication or um, the most high God or Yeshua is showing you that someone is uh, placing some type of witchcraft on you. <clears throat> Another thing, if you're dreaming and you're seeing a raccoon, again, uh, your spirits, the angels, the most high God will use animals, different things in the dream to, to, to help you so that you'll to give you a clue of what's going on. So a raccoon normally will uh, represent like negativity or will will represent that someone is uh, placing witchcraft on you. So if you're having that dream and you're seeing a raccoon in a dream, uh, more than likely that's what it's about. Uh, another sign, if you're seeing that, um, that when you're eating, that you're finding hair in your food. So this is a very odd thing, but I've worked with several people and they're telling me um, they're constantly pulling hair out of their mouths. This is just one of the signs. So if you are pulling hair out of your mouth constantly, Someone has placed witchcraft on you. Another sign would be if your hair is falling out. Now, of course, if this is not, you know, connected to uh, any type of health or medical reason, um, I work with a lot of people that are being hit by this uh, black magic, this witchcraft, and, you know, it can cause the hair to fall out. Another sign would be if you're constantly dealing with, like, headaches, migraines, or just sickness in your body that's kind of coming out of the blue and again you've been to the doctor you've been checked out and they can't find a reason for these things they don't know why it's happening it could, could be a strong chance that you're being uh, affected by witchcraft <clears throat> another sign would be odors body odors mouth odors i deal with a lot of people who are being affected by witchcraft they have this odor in their mouth that they can't get rid of they have odors in their hair a lot of women are having odors in their vaginas that they can't get rid of. So this is something that I see a lot. Um, and again, uh, pain in the body. Some people will tell me that the skin is burning or they feel different things moving within the body. So again, if you've been checked out by the doctor and they can't find anything, this is a good chance this could be witchcraft. Another sign would be if you're seeing dead animals constantly. If you're constantly seeing dead animals, this could be uh, anything from uh, birds to deer to rabbits to raccoons, possum. It just doesn't make a difference. If you rats, mice, if you constantly keep seeing this over and over and over, then that's a sign that's letting you know that someone is working witchcraft on you. Another sign would be if you're starting to feel like you are losing your mind. And this is just coming out of the blue. You're starting to feel uh, crazy. You're starting to feel very paranoid. Your anxiety level is off the charts. Panic attacks, this sort of thing. This stuff just comes out of the blue. Um, <clears throat> could be a good chance that someone is affecting you uh, with witchcraft. Another sign would be if you're starting to notice that things are breaking down around you. A lot of times in a home, this would be like your small appliances. So this could be like your refrigerator, your washing machine, your, uh, your dryer, your microwave. You could have pipes that are bursting, things that are leaking. If you're starting to see that sort of thing, or even with your vehicles, if you're starting to see that you're constantly having uh, flat tires or just have to keep getting car repairs over and over and over, then again, this, is, this could probably be uh, witchcraft. All right. Another sign would be if you're waking up and you are constantly waking up with different scratches on your body. Now, a lot of times uh, when it's demons involved, 
they love to do things in threes. So you may see three scratches, but it doesn't necessarily have to be in threes. It could just be one scratch. But if you're waiting, if you're waking up with bruises, uh, scratches, uh, even bite marks, because I've known some people that have bite marks, anything like that, again, that could definitely be uh, witchcraft that someone is, is placing on you. Another sign would be if you're noticing that you can't get a job or you're noticing that you have a job, but you cannot keep the job, all right? Or let's just say you have a job, but every time you're on your job, let's just say you're getting new jobs, but you keep getting into it with people. Nobody likes you. These people are, are, are disliking you for no reason at all. This could definitely be witchcraft. Um, if you're finding that you can't keep money, like every time you try to save or build your money up, different things keep coming up. And your money, as soon as it comes in, is, is leaving out as fast as it's coming in. And you constantly have to just keep spending, spending, spending. And you cannot save money no matter what you try to do. So again, <clears throat> this is definitely a sign. So this is just some of the things that I've been seeing since I've been working with people, uh, you know, working with them to remove these demonic spirits from them. Now, the Most High God and Yeshua HaMashiach works through me. They use me as a vessel to free people from these spirits. So again, I work with uh, witchcraft, possession cases. Um, I work with small kids. I've, I've worked with a baby as young as, what, five months? To the oldest being, I believe, like 78. So uh, some people think if they are a Christian or some people think, oh, because I'm a believer in the Most High God, I can't be affected by the witchcraft. And these are the main ones that are getting hit very hard because they have no clue. So they're not even looking um, or even thinking about witchcraft. They're just thinking, oh, maybe I just have bad luck. But it doesn't make a difference because the thing is, a lot of people think just uh, because they're going to church or just because they're reading the Bible that this is keeping them safe. And that and, and that's, that's, that's untrue. So what you want to do is you want to fast and pray. I tell people this all the time. Fasting and praying is your most two, your two most powerful weapons that you have against Satan in the spiritual realm. So this keeps you strong and this makes this very difficult for anybody to place these uh, spells or curses on you. And the reason why is because when you're fasting, you are sacrificing. You're sacrificing, uh, let's just say you're doing uh, a water fast. Uh, that's what I do all the time. I do water, uh, a water fast. And so you're not eating food. That's all you're doing is drinking water. So this is a sacrifice. So in turn, this is bringing you closer to Yeshua Hamashiach. This is bringing you closer to the Most High God. And the closer you are, the more protection that you get. So again, it makes it very hard for people to do this. Now, again, you have the people who uh, they feel like because they know the Bible from uh, beginning to end and in church uh, several times a week, it, it, that, that does nothing at all in terms of strengthening you against these attacks. So and these people are out here placing this witchcraft on people. Um, then I did something that you have to be careful with because what happens is when people feel like they have witchcraft, then they're looking for someone to help them, but they're going to the wrong people. So they actually are going to people who are witches or warlocks or who are working with witchcraft and they're trying to remove this. And I have to constantly keep saying this over and over and over. No one can remove witchcraft by using witchcraft. It does not work like that. You cannot remove a demon with the help of a demon. It doesn't, it, it does not go like that at all. It has to be a person, a person that is of the Most High God, a true person of Yeshua Hamashiach in order to remove this. Uh, it, it is something that is not fast. A lot of people think, oh, one prayer would take care of this. That's, that's not the case. It is a process to break this, but it can be removed. It is a process. So if there's anyone out here, you're being affected by witchcraft or just dealing with uh, possession or demons, you don't know who to go to or who to talk to about this. I work with it. I've worked with a lot. I've heard a lot of things. I've seen a lot of things. I work with people that have aliens that are attached to them. So I'm very open-minded with this stuff because I see it. I even seen people levitate. So I know this stuff is true. So if you need help, you can reach out to me. 
and I will be able to help you. Information will be at the bottom of this video. Have a great day.